Okay, so this video is about fetal micro chimerism. So fetal microchimerism means that during pregnancy, some of the baby's cells are transferred from the baby's body to the mother's body, and they will stay with the mother for the rest of their life. Some of the times these cells will persist with the mother until the time that the mother dies. Um, and they have some beneficial functions in the mother. They help with wound healing. They're thought to you know, have some mutually beneficial interactions between the baby and the mother. Okay, the word chimera comes from Greek mythology. It was an animal that was a combination of more than one type of animal. So that's where the word chimera comes from. Um, this is a diagram showing that, let's say this is the mother with her first pregnancy. Some of the baby's cells come into her body. So that's fetal microchimerism. Um, and they say it's associated with mother's intuition for her child. I can remember when I was young, it would seem like my mother could read my brain sometimes. She'd say, look me in the eye. And then other times, like my mom would always catch me. Like when I tried to trick my mother, she almost always caught me. For example, one time I thought my mom was going to be away from the afternoon. I had a girlfriend come over when I was in high school. And then all of a sudden I heard my mom coming in the house. I said, I told my girlfriend, go hide under the table in the living room. Okay. In the dining room. And so then my mom just, you know, walking around doing whatever she's doing. Uh, and, uh, she walks out to me and she says, Peter? <laughs> My mom had a funny accent. She goes, why is there a girl under the table in the dining room? <laughs> and I'm like, Mom, you weren't supposed to come home so early. So um, anyways, it was, uh, it's nice having somebody who really understands you to run your thoughts by. Um, let's see, what else? It also occurs in other, other mammals like mice and dogs. Um, it happens as soon as the seventh week of the pregnancy. If a woman has an abortion after seven weeks, she'll still have some of the fetal cells in her body. They can persist for her entire life. They can help improve her immune system and help her to heal. Um, and I also noticed something, you know. So from the from the father, the baby gets the gene, germ, the genes of the sperm. From the mother, the baby gets the genes, you know, from the mom, from the egg. Okay. Uh, the baby also gets the cytoplasm of the first zygote, you know, the combination sperm and egg from the mother. Gets the mitochondria from the mother. Gets some maternal microchimerism from the mother. So when you look at it this way, you know, at first when I heard this, I was a little sad. I'm thinking, oh, gee, I wish my kids were more like me, less like their mother, okay? But then I realized something. If mama, if the baby's getting all this stuff from mama, the egg cytoplasm, mitochondria, and microchimerism, shouldn't the mother be responsible for two-thirds of the kid's expenses? Okay, now here is a picture also talking about, you know, some of the immune system. There's some immune benefits. And it's also thought there's some other interactive things that the microchimerism seems to influence, seems to, you know, encourage more milk production, things like that. So anyways, I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, that's all I got for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.